What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. We're only a few months away from the final official build of Android N. We still don't know the official name of the build. We do know that it's going to be Android version 7.0. And so far we've seen in the beta preview builds of Android N that we're not getting a UI overhaul, but there is one feature of the UI that we do expect to change, and that is the navigation bar. Now, believe it or not, the navigation bar is supposedly leaked online. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it on your device. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see the main differences right away. The back button and the recents buttons are now filled in with white and then the home button is sort of like a white circle with the Nexus logo surrounding it. Now the final version is also said to include an animation on the home button. So whenever you long press the home button, you should get an animation. We're not seeing that in this version yet. So first things first, when it comes to installing this awesome new 7.0 nav bar, you're going to have to be running CyanogenMod 13. So the only way to install this as of this video is to be running a custom ROM that includes a CyanogenMod 13 theme manager so that could be aosp paranoid android just as long as it has the cyanogenmod 13 style theme manager if you don't know how to install cyanogenmod 13 i'll be sure to include a link in the description to my video explaining how to install that rom once you have that installed you'll head to the play store and it's a quick and easy search here in navbar will bring up the application that's necessary all right so i have uninstalled it real quick just so you guys can see exactly how this works we're going to install it once it's installed, you'll see a notification from the theme store up top. Theme successfully installed. Okay, and then you'll just press this paintbrush. That's gonna go ahead and activate the nav bar. And as you guys can see, it pops up there. Super simple, super easy, super quick. The only requirements are that you're running CyanogenMod 13 or any other ROM that includes the theme manager. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.